Right. Back down to idiom. Uh, well. Go on. Oh, I got <laughs> Right. I was trying to click on the actual planet. I forgot I had to go right up to it for some reason. Let's land. Apologies. <laughs> Do a little bit of a cold. Um, so I am a bit sniffly. That time of year, colds seem to be a wraith. Um, just back over one a few weeks ago. Minus. I, I get like lingering colds that last for a week or two. Nothing really happens. I just get kind of blocked nose and just, you know, just feeling kind of just congested generally, you know, all through the system. And then um, it goes away and then I got another one. <laughs> So I'm a bit sniffy, a bit of a sore throat, but I will persevere. So apologies for the sniffing every now and then. Occasional coughing. Right, uh, we're going to take down with us <coughs> Kasumi, because Kasumi was really useful. Really useful for doing that Shadow Strike backstab thing she can do. Um, we're going to take... Um, who should we take? Should we take Fane? Or, let's take Jack, actually, should we get a shockwave thing. Okay, let's go. Um, we got, oh, we got level 4 now. Let's level up our, our throw ready, because our throw is what we're using a lot of the time. Because it's the quickest. Um, she can do shit. Improve Shockwave, yeah. So I'm using it a lot. So let's get that maxed up, shall we? So at zero, and now she can be a Primal Depth or Primal Vanguard. Push her back to the limit. Hell plus 20%. percent we damage done for her. Bit more weapon damage, I think. Let's do that one. I want to be my sort of power biotic powerhouse thing, basically. Okay. And Sumi. I think we leveled up last. Oh, we should put a Shadow Strike up to four. Yes, definitely. Exactly. It's bloody useful. Really useful. Uh, Deadly Shadow Strike. Damage inflicted or rapid. Cooldown by 8%. Ooh. Uh, I think we'll just go with the deadly the damage one, I think. Okay. One second. And then we should go. Okay, let's go. Right, back on Ilium, and let's go get Samara. Let's go talk to the woman in the um, transport hub, Officer Dara, which is on the furthest point away from where we are right now. Ah, Vista. Towers, traffic, lights, and Asari everywhere you look. I thought about living here for a while. But everybody's so tight ass. It's all about money to these people. I do what I do for the love of it. These people do it because they don't know any better. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place <laughs> is one bad day away from becoming Omega. Can we afford anything? I need minimal heating. Biotic damage. Let's get that one. Oh, we didn't already have that, actually. It's because we couldn't afford it, but we can now. There's a car alarm going off as well. You might be picking it up on the mic, sorry about that. Alright. We're going the wrong way again. I keep doing this, I keep going the wrong way on Ilium. Okay, this way. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this room. I own you. Listen. Oh, yeah, we got the thing for him, didn't we? What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Kurosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's <laughs> corporate building. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. 
I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Cool. <laughs> that it. We got more money from that other woman for giving back her necklace swing. And that's like sentimental. Date is a lot more kind of valuable. No offense, sentimental stuff is really valuable, but you know what I mean. That's important data could shut down a business, and he's just like, oh, here have, have a valid credit. So she gave me fuck tons more for that. This is not where we're supposed to be. We're going carrying on up here, aren't we? The transport hub. I think there's a side quest around here as well we didn't do earlier when we were here. I don't know why we didn't. To the left here, there's a Krogan, I think. I don't need help. There we go. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan's reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. But no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. You can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think you realize that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't. And you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Yeah, kill. He's gone and he's still and shouting out poetry. You done, Krogan? Okay. Ah, uh, fish. Oh, he's still get the bloody feeder from somewhere. Don't know where we can get it from. Hmm. Right. Osadara, Osadara. Where are you? I think you're in this window. A little. Ah, oh, here we go. Yep. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. <laughs> she went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws. And they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Okay. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial oh, spaceport. I thought, you can hail a cab at the pedestal on that. But when it when it said where did she go, I thought it was gonna be like asking like what's she doing there. Not to ask again. Samara's over there. Get a cab there. Okay. Where is she? <laughs> It's cold, it's annoying though. Right. Oh yeah, let me take the same too. I didn't cycle her appearance. I'll give her that. The movie cycled hers. I can't remember. Yeah, let's give her that for a bit. Okie dokie. Yeah, of course, Jack. Right, let's go. Okay, here we go. I don't remember much about this mission. Oh, I remember now something about Vodalus. This is good. Where do you think you're going? But I don't remember much else. I'm 
taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Right, talk to the locals then. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dacny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Right, talk to Officer Dara then. The officer was a face anyway. <coughs> Medical station, lovely. Great. Anaya. Anai Anaya. I don't know. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone. But they are drawn to impossible causes. She'll like our mission, then. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Okay. Luck. We should find Samara before the detective does. So yeah, basically Samara, um, just the cars are basically just like sorry police, and they have like no jurisdiction and no like you know they can go anywhere they want and pretty much do anything they want. No one can stop them, and if anyone tries to stop them, they can basically kill them. They're like you know the highest level of the law for the Asari. And I have told us to let you through. Watch Anaya, yourself. that's There's it. Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Okay. Anyway, let's consider this extra stop surplus. Ship the rest of facts at his normal destination. Who never miss two pieces. Hmm. Don't even see what happens as a result of all Mr. Facts about the stolen goods. Oh shit, I've got enemies, have we? Where's Mr. Facts then? Keep an eye out for him. <laughs> 